Randy, I'll tell you, this is God's country. Yeah, it's peaceful up here. Mm. Yeah, and if you ask me, time's running out for people like us. That's the damn truth. Me and my family, though, we're going to be safe when the last days come. I guarantee you that. All set up, are you? Food, water, ordnance? That's right. Into guns? <laughs> well, a man has to be nowadays. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> That's my trade. My guns? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Enjoy yourself? Yeah. But we're not Nazis, sweetheart. No. Mm. <laughs> no, I just enjoy talking to people. Mm -hmm. How come you volunteered to train skinheads at our place? Well, that's just survival stuff. I mean, it's just guns, mm -hmm. know, stuff like that. I can let it go if you want. You know, I... I'd rather you did. Who was that biker you were talking to? Gus? Oh, we, we may do some business together. What kind of business? Oh, you know, uh, sawed off shotgun. Oh. He sells them to people back east who are afraid of the niggers. Weaver, well, honey, be gotta, careful, honey. I gotta do something, you know, we're broke. I gotta put some food on the table somehow. I know what Yahweh will provide. What's Yahweh gonna do, you know, send a deer up to the front door? Weaver. Well, Mama, come on. Now, we can't just spend a whole nother winter on nothing but canned vegetables. I mean, I, I, got, I got nothing left to sell. This truck, it barely runs. Just have a little faith. Well, I do. You know, we made a commitment to God when we moved up on this mountain to wait for the end. Okay, but I'm the one that's got to provide while we wait. He's going to show us the way. Trust. Have a little faith. Damn, that stuff makes my skin break out. Every time I use it, I get a rash. You think these wahoos are worth all this? Mm -hmm. Vickers is making a lot of noise. Who's the second guy? Weaver. Oh, he mostly just tags along. He's a religious nut. Living up in the mountains, waiting for Armageddon. Vickers is a dangerous one. He wants to form a new gang like the Order. Test this thing, huh? One, two, three. Yeah. Good. Let's go. It's right there in Deuteronomy, Gus. All you got to do is read your Bible. Hey, well, I was raised Catholic, but I don't go no more. It's nothing to do with going to church. Those preachers are a bunch of liars. The preachers are liars. The teachers are liars. You send your kids to public school? You bet. Well, see, right there, you're giving away your responsibility right there. You send them to Randy, public school, Randy, those teachers Randy, 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 fill listen, their heads with the... That, that's all what? good, but, you know, we got to get busy and, and form a group. You know, like Matthews. Yeah. We got to do something now. Yeah, um, look, I, this really isn't a good place to talk. Well, why don't we uh, go take a ride, huh? All right. <laughs> you leave a tip? Sure. Oh, gosh, you celebrate Martin Luther Coon Day? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I took a big piss for him. Ain't that something? A national holiday for a commie pervert nigger? Hey, Randy, why don't you drive? Uh, I'll sit in back. Hey, let's go on out by the lake. Great, good dog. That's really, really anxious to go hunt. Let the damn thing out, ran straight to the city. Right to the <laughs> ghetto. <laughs> yeah, he's a good coon dog. He'll hunt up anywhere. <laughs> but you, you know, you can't eat those damn things. You can skin them, but the meat yeah. tastes really Too bad. rich. Too rich. <laughs> you don't want to eat that. No way. Well, you want to take a walk? It's nice and warm in here, Gus. Besides, Tony and I, we don't have all that blubber on us like you do. <laughs> We're going to scan you, Gus. What the hell is that thing? In case you're wired. Wired? Why would I be wired? If you're a fed. You think I'm a fed? I didn't say that, Gus. I'm just checking. Damn. Here I was thinking you were laying that religious stuff on kind of thick. I thought maybe you were a fed covering. Those are my beliefs, Gus. Well, my beliefs are that you guys got a lot of nerve to want to scan me. Look, you just can't be too careful. I mean, there are feds everywhere since since they uh, killed Matthews. Let me see that thing. Hell, it's nothing but a stud finder. Yeah, well, you can find a hell of a lot more than just studs with one of those things. Yeah? Let's see how it works. <laughs> Damn, this thing works. Yeah, so does this. Where are you from back east, Gus? New Jersey. Whereabouts? About 18 miles out of Philadelphia. What town? If I told you, you wouldn't know the difference, would you? You've never been anywhere near New Jersey, have you? Got you there, Tony. Well, Randy, you should let him answer. You know, he might have lied. How would you know? Well, I, I wouldn't. No one, no one, no. Yeah. Hey, well, that's what went wrong with the order. You know, those guys didn't check out anybody, and that's how the feds got in. Yeah, maybe if they'd had a few of these stud finders, they'd be ruling the world by now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> See, because the barrel is shorter, when you fire, these pellets, they spread out real wide. Why is that illegal? Because our government doesn't want its citizens to have a weapon as powerful, that's why. Because when they make war on us, they don't want us to fight back. White power! White power! That's right. He gives our government a chance, and every weapon will be illegal. Except for the ones their agents carry. I know it. <laughs> well, you didn't say it. I did. I knew it. You well, you didn't say me. it. Well, I want hey, Chance, to now you stop me. fighting now. Save your fighting for the Jews and niggers, right? White power! White power! Enemy in range! Three point drop! That's it. Now you got it. Dear Elizabeth. The whole world lies in wickedness, and we fight spiritual battles, even though sometimes it hurts. Eight. Um, seven plus three. Ten. We're all gold. It has to be tried and refined through fire. The Lord is really perfecting, or trying to perfect, patience in Randy and me right now, because we're both really anxious to get busy and can't really yet. Remember. You are fighting the whole world. I just hope they go to some street gang. <laughs>
sound. Yeah? You stole my pipe and tank. Oh. Stole? What are you talking about? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. I had half a mile of poly pipe going down to the creek and a 200-gallon tank, and this morning, lo and behold, they're gone. That's got nothing to do with me, Roy. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, get out of the way. You are the only one who could have stole it, Randy. Who stole else even... it? Yes, yeah, stole it. You calling me a thief? Yeah, I'm calling you a thief, and I'm calling you a liar. You're who calling even... me a thief and a liar? Like... Now, who else would even know it was back there? Who else would be able to come down that road? Roy, I don't know nothing about you. You say that. Or whatever the hell you're talking there about, There's only Roy. one I... person who could get to it, Randy. You. Eve, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Darren Woodward. Oh, Darren oh. Woodward, that story's a lie. I've known Darren Woodward for years, and he don't lie. Now, oh, if he's Darren. if he says you stole money from him, then you stole it. We didn't steal nothing. No, now, you yeah. get out of the way. Then where'd you get the money to buy this spiffy new truck? Huh? Yeah, it's nice none of your truck, business Randy. where I got the money. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way, Eve. Get out of the way. You get your bitch wife out of the way right now. I'm going to run her over right now. Get out of the way. 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 Get out of the Stay down. You run back to your room. It's all right. You understand? Back to dinner. Sounded like Weaver to me. I think this is his way of getting at us for what we said to him today. Come on, let's get back to bed. He ain't gonna ruin my night. Hey, honey, come on. This talk, but it's a free country. You can believe all that crap if you want. Yeah, well, I don't care if you believe it or not. It's in the scriptures. Yeah, sure. I want you to stop shooting all them rifles up on the ridge. It's dangerous for my family. We don't shoot them at your house. The hell you don't. I'm telling you to stop right now. 
Yeah, what are you going to do if I don't? I'll kick your ass. I've heard all that end of the world junk you're always spouting. There's going to be a big war between blacks and the Hell's Angels or some such crap. And it's all going to end up at your front door, right? I'm again. And you're going to have to take your groceries by violence and shoot your neighbors, isn't that right? Something like that. Yeah. You come down that mountain, you turn left at my driveway. Don't turn right. I catch you anywhere near my house. I'll hang you up by your big toes and cut off your fingers. You got that? Don't screw with my family. You don't scare me. <laughs> I'm glad I had this hat on. I, I think that engine wanted to scalp me. Right here in this burger chair. You just sure got him riled up. <laughs> Just an Indian. What do you expect? <laughs> what can we do for you? Well? Actually, we're looking for your mom and dad. You won't find them here. They're in town visiting some friends. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. That girl's highly in her teens. These people scare the hell out of me. They intend to. That's his truck back in that driveway. What do you think? No harm in asking. We're looking for Randy Weaver. Hey, Randy! There's a couple of county Mounties out here asking for you. Mr. Weaver, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. Okay. Here's the deal. We have you on selling sawed-off shotguns to a federal agent. Oh, all right, man. All right. Don't try anything rash. Hear me out. We have wiretaps of the sale. We've got Polaroids. <laughs> U.S. attorney has the file. He's certain the grand jury's going to hand up an indictment. It means at the very least, you're going to have to undergo arrest. You're going to have to get bonded. You have to make appearances. It's a big hassle. Very expensive. So we want to give you a chance to help yourself. We'd like you to work with us on some of the problems we're trying to deal with up here. Aryan Nation's warriors, Randy. They've already spawned at least two groups. Killed a dozen people, used explosives against civilian targets, taken more than $2 million in armed robberies. I ain't Aryan Nations. Uh-huh. I guess you just couldn't find any other way to hold your pants up, is that it? Now, we're not asking you to actually get someone arrested for us. Just, you know, keep us aware of what's doing. These people are dangerous, Weaver. 
We're afraid of what they might do. You ought to be, too. Do this for your country, son. You save all the hassle and all the money on court. All you have to do, come to my office in Spokane, alone. Tomorrow, 11 o'clock. So we can talk. No way. Oh, yes. That's the way we do things, Weaver. Ain't no snitch. Go to hell. Vicky! Come on out here. Zack wants to sign me up. So, what do you think? Well, he played it right. It's a reasonable offer. He knows he committed a crime. They always come around in the end. Yahweh, 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 our creator. We ask that you show us what to do in the face of such oppression and deceit. Please show us the way, our Father. Amen. 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 Oh. I'm going to turn myself in. You're what? Wait, are you will not be a snitch for Zog. Well, not to be a snitch, but to answer that gun charge. I don't want nothing to happen to the kids. Do you know what they're going to do to you? They will arrest you, Randy. And then you know what they're going to do to the kids, huh? They'll confiscate our land and they'll put them in some AIDS-infested mental hospital. Or foster home. That's what they'll do. And that's what they'll do to me. They'll probably shoot me. Mama. That's right. That's what they'll do. And they'll get some government-paid informants who will take the stand, say whatever they want them to say. Gus the snitch. They'll railroad you through. That's what they'll do. And they'll come up here. They'll kick us off the land. They'll rip this whole place apart. We're broke. We're flat broke. We got no money to pay the property tax. They're just gonna come and get me anyway. Then let them come. Let them come! That's right. Let's take a vote. Okay, family vote. All those in favor of Daddy turning himself into the Jew government say aye. That's right. This is a good group. Angel, get me a pen and paper. To Aryan nations and all our brethren of the Anglo-Saxon race. Today, two U.S. Treasury agents followed Randy and Vicki Weaver to the home of friends. They threatened Randy with a federal firearms charge, prison time, and the confiscation of our truck. They said they want him to join their team and that he must go alone to the Spokane courthouse. Randy said, no way. They said, oh yes, that's the way we do things. Randy and I and the children are ready to stand for truth and our freedom. We cannot make deals with the enemy. This is a war against the white sons of Isaac. Yahweh, our Yahshua, is our savior and king. The decree has gone out to destroy Israel, our people. If we are not free to obey the laws of Yahweh, we may as well be dead. Get me, they could have done it months ago. 
I'm not gonna mess with God's people. We'll be fine. We'll be back soon, and we won't have to go down the hill for a while. Be careful on the roads. Yeah, we'll be fine. There's no snow in the valley. It might be raining. Watch your dog's tail. Keep a sweater on her, okay? This is Eve Marks. The weavers are coming down. Rebel? The engine died. My boyfriend can't figure it out, and we're freezing. I think it might be the fuel pump, but I don't really know enough about it. OK. What do you think? Yeah, let's go. I got a blanket here for her. You can fix that engine up, honey. See what we can do. Here. It's a little wet. Hopefully it'll help till they get all God fixed bless up. You. God bless you. Fuel pump. Federal agent, you're under arrest. Get down on the ground. Son of a pig! No! All right, let's go. That was good. But you'll never fool me again. Let's go. Office? It's Bert Yeager, BATF, Spokane. Yeah, Duncan here. What's up, Bert? I was hoping your secretary would say you were on the flight up here to Coeur d'Alene. We have Weaver's arraignment this morning. Yeah. My hands are full, Bert. Uh, just let the law do its job. Well, I would. But we're dealing with a part-time magistrate here. If the government doesn't appear, this guy is likely to just let him walk. No, yeah, I'll come up for the trial. If there is one. If Weaver's bound over, I'm betting he won't appear. The guy lives on a mountaintop, whole family. Armed to the teeth. These are separatists, Matthew. If we don't hold on to him now, who knows where it'll end? Has he got a lawyer? Not that I know of. But chances are you don't have the grounds to keep him in jail anyway. I trust your magistrate on this. Yeah, even if he is a part-timer. All right. Let the record show that no attorneys appeared for either side. Mr. Weaver, do you wish to enter a plea? Well, I know I'm not guilty, but I'd like to talk it over with a lawyer. And you don't have one? No, sir. Do you know of one that you would have any confidence in? Well, there's a man that we know of, uh, name of uh, Milton Norquist. Well, I'll do the best I can to see if I can appoint him. In the meantime, I have to set a tentative trial date. February 19th looks free. That would give both sides a chance to prepare. You mean I have to stay in jail till then? I'm prepared to release you on bond. I don't understand what that is. Well, it's a promise to appear on the date that I've given you and backed up by some money that you'd forfeit if you fail to show. Oh, gosh, uh, the only thing 
I have many values, my property, it can't be worth more than $10,000. Well, that would be sufficient. And if you appear on the date set and abide by the rules of your probation, then your land should be safe. What rules are those, sir? Well, I expect you to find a job. You'll have to restrict your travel to northern Idaho, and you'll have to give up all weapons, firearms, and explosives. How far does that go? I mean, does, it, does that include my, my kids' weapons, uh, my wife's? You'll have to discuss that with your attorney. But my advice is that you're better off without any of that stuff in your house. Well, what happens if we have to defend ourselves? Mr. Weaver, even if you fear for your life, you cannot possess a firearm. So if I do as you say and show up, then my, my property will be safe? Yes, although I believe that if you contest the case and lose, you'll be required to pay back the government for your legal costs. Uh, I'll do as you order, Your Honor. Fine. Look, I have to get more on this. Yes? Line two. It's Bert Yeager, sir. Yeah, Bert, what is it now? The magistrate released him on bond, but he totally screwed up the explanation of what Weaver was up against. Ah! You know what? It is so plain. It is so plain. They want to take our land, and they want to make us homeless. Yeah, well, screw them. That's right. He made it sound like Randy would lose his land if he was convicted, and he could even lose his land if he wasn't convicted. He gave him no reason to cooperate. Bert, try to understand. We're swamped in this office. We can't monitor every case in the Northwest. I know, but the way this went down, he'll never show. I show up for that trial, yeah. you know what's going to happen? I'm going to be out on the street. That's what's going to happen. No, you're not going to be out on the street. You're going to be with us, your family, and we're going to stay on that mountain, and we're not coming down for nothing. That's what's going to happen. But, Bert, whatever happened, the law has to run its course now. Now, if he shows, my office will be there to prosecute. If he doesn't, then we issue a fugitive warrant. That's the way it works. Tony Vickers? Yeah. I'm Brian Jackson, Deputy U.S. Marshal. I understand you're a friend of Randy Weaver's. Used to be. He doesn't have many friends left in this town. Why is that? Some people think he's a thief. What'd he steal? Depends on who you talk to. Some water pipes, some money. Depends on who you talk to. Well, I'm talking to you. No, you ain't. I got a fugitive warrant issued on him. See any reason why I shouldn't just walk up that mountain and arrest him? Whole family's armed and praying for Armageddon. You'd be the answer to their prayers. <sighs> Can you help me figure out a way to do this without anyone getting hurt? <sighs> be worth $5,000 if you brought him in. I don't want your damn blood money, Marshal. I don't turn nobody in. Take it easy. Tell you what I might do. I might just kill him myself and tell you where the body is. How'd that be? He'll come down soon enough. Wouldn't bet on that one. Patience, my friend. All it takes is patience. And your grandmother pulled you out from under that bed, kicking and screaming. And she said, young lady, don't you ever say that again. And she shoved that bar of soap right down your throat. And you said, grandmother, you're not supposed to really do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I need to go inside for a Honey, why don't you go upstairs and take a nap, OK? Yeah. All right, good. You all right, honey? Yeah. I don't know what in the hell you were thinking about getting her pregnant. For goodness sakes, Randy. You're a fugitive from the law. I wasn't planning.
planned. Doesn't seem that much you do is planned very well. I mean, the arrest by the Zog wasn't planned. The Zog. Will you open your eyes, son? This pregnancy is making her very weak. I know. Well, I'm asking you. I'm asking you straight out, what's to be done about it? Well, I'll send a letter down with a friend. And if the government wants to drop all the charges and give me a letter of apology, I'll forget the whole thing. Will you talk sense, boy? Now, you know that's not about to happen. There's got to be another way. And as far as I can tell. Oh, hell, Ralph. Nobody's gonna come up here on this ridge. We're safe up here. Hell, they're not even trying. I'm gonna get a beer. Did you get this thing working? Yeah, it's working. You wanna barbecue something? Have you seen this, Brian? Yeah, I've seen it. Well, just in case it didn't register real strong, let me read to you a couple of my favorite lines, huh? Uh, like the headline. Federal marshals have fugitive under our nose. Federal agents are contemplating their next move in the case of Randy Weaver, a fugitive wanted on weapons charges who's been hiding out on a remote mountaintop for more than a year. Just what are we waiting for, Brian? When are we going to make that next move we're contemplating, huh? Never? I haven't been waiting, Dean. You know that. I've talked with everyone. I've offered payments. I've sent word to them 20 times. All his friends say, if I go on up there, somebody's gonna get hurt. He's a nut. Hell, <laughs> Weaver's in a jail of his own making up there right now. And if he ever comes down, the neighbors are set to call, pick him up. Look, Brian, that's just not good enough. We're looking like idiots because of this jerk and his kid. If we go charging in there, we could get those kids hurt. Look, I want a reconnaissance team up there. Special operations group, the best we have. I want a plan to bring this guy down and get him to trial. Could be dangerous. Oh, I know that. Look, I want no contact with Weaver or any of his kids until the surveillance is completed and the plan has been approved. Oh, and uh, Brian, I'm not interested in seeing this guy on 60 Minutes, okay? Three of you get as close to the cabin as you can. I'll take John and Paul, set up an observation post on the ridge above. Let's move out.
Three of us are in position down below. Can you see anything from up on the ridge? No one in sight. Still asleep, most likely. I'm gonna see what the dogs will respond to. See what we can see. Ten forty-five. There's nothing happening here. Let's move out. Roger that. We'll cover your exit. I have activity. Boy, man, girl, girl, and daddy. Armed? All armed. Okay, let's go. Hey, Ma, I think he's got a deer. That'll be the day, Weaver. All right, you and Kevin, you go that way, and I'll take the logging road and see if we can trap something. Come on. They're responding. They are responding. Dog leads, get the hell out of there. Come on. Oh, my God. 